Okay, in this part of our software video, we're gonna deal with the pads and how to use pads in your MPC software. Now, first of all, your keyboard on your computer can control the pads. And you'll notice here in the upper right-hand corner where we have this keyboard icon, I can actually click on that and I can change it. And once I click on it, this says now, my keys will be MIDI, like a piano. I come to here, my keys are off, they're just keys for a computer. I come to hit again, now my keys are for the pads. Now the specific keys that are for the pads are C, X, C, V, A, S, D, F, Q, W, E, R, and one, two, three, four. Okay, that's pretty simple. Those 16 keys control the pads, like on any MPC machine, right? So, what makes it so cool is that I can do it with the keyboard, I can hit here too as well to get to these pads. Now also, once I assign a sample to a pad or I drag a sample to a pad, I wanna change the color of that pad. I want my kick drums to be red, my snare drums to be like yellow, my hi-hats to be golden, you know, there's a phrase I'll use here. And now I wanna change that, for example. Now, if you can't figure it out, sometimes you might forget, always go to your help menu here. You can drop in P-A, oops, sorry, P-A-D, pad. And the first thing that comes up is pad color. We got pad flatten pad. We got copy pad, pad keys. They're all right here, it's really cool. So I'm gonna come here, I'll do that. And you'll see here at the bottom, it's already telling me where to go, which is super cool. I'll come back to it. Matter of fact, first I wanna get rid of this because you don't wanna keep that in there. I'm gonna make sure I can find something easily. I come to edit, I'll go to program, and here it says pad color. There's our pad color, okay, this is cool. Now I've got the program selected right here. Only program I have. And now I have display as bright velocity. Now what this means here is that I can come and hit a pad and it will brighten up as it's hit. We have here edit single pad. So I wanna edit just one pad. You may wanna turn all your pads the same color, which I'm not gonna do. So I can come to here, for example, I like this, it's a uh, brown color right there, as you can see. I select it, it shows you the color. I select this one, it shows me the color. So this is brown, that's brown. So I come to here, I don't wanna change this color. I'm gonna change this color here to like an orangey color. And now this is orange and then this is still brown. I will close this out now. We got that listening. So one more thing I'm gonna do here next is go over these top parts here. And first I'm gonna go over A, B, C, D to F. These are pad banks. If I want to, I can have samples on every bank. Right now my A bank is filled. I can go to my B bank here. Let's say I go into the browser mode here and I wanna load something up. Let's say I wanna load the samples up. I got a bunch of samples. I wanna pull this sample and right, I'll pull the sample and boom. I load that sample up, that sample's in there, right? And I wanna move this sound someplace. I'll check my sound out. That's it right there. I'd come to here. I add it to a pad and I can keep adding to these pads and I can do A bank, B bank, C bank, D bank, E bank. You get the idea. F, G, and H also as well. So let's go back to A. Now, once I've got my pads in, they're in their bank, it's easy to deal with them. Now, sometimes you're playing a track and you wanna do some stuff to a track, right? So here, for example, I've got note repeat. I click on this, I'm gonna find something here. So you see what I'm doing there? I'm playing this pad right here, which is actually A3. You can see that the track or the pad is lit up. You can it's lit up and you can see in the grid where it's at here. So it's kind of cool. I can actually play stuff in here and get funky with it. I'll play it again. Okay, cool. Now how this works primarily is I'm here in my grid above it, I have this little area right here next to timing correct. I have a value here, which is 16th, 16th notes. Now I'm gonna use my hand now to play that pad. Once I hit it, it's repeating based on the value selected here. Now I'll change the value again. So let's say slow quarter note. One bar is one, right? 
let's go to here. I'm going to go like to eighth notes. I can play the track too. From the top. I come to here. I can keep playing. I'm just hitting the pad a little bit. So you get the idea. Same thing happens with the bass. I'm supposed to do the bass to go to here. It's a pretty simple idea. That's note repeat. Now I can also come to here and do half level. Half level is kind of cool because you'll notice if I hit this drum, I'm in half level. I'm in half level now. And if I hit this drum, you'll notice here on this output, what's the king here? That means it's our master output. And this is our one and two output. You'll see the level goes just above minus 20 dB, which is uh, where I want it to be. But suppose I want to go higher. I don't want half level. I come to here, I hit it again. We see it, we're up here close to nine dB. So that's half level, which is kind of cool to use. I like half level. And then we have also 16 level. Now 16 level is real cool because I can have 16 levels of any sample or actually sound I have on the pad, right? So let's go to here and I wanna to go to, let's see. Oh, velocity is good. Let's go close this out, run velocity. Our pad selected, you'll see here is four. Original pad's four. I'll close this out. That's pad four right there. Now, if I go back to here and turn it off, that's not pad four. Pad four is the height. See that? If I go to 16 levels, though, and I'm here in 16 levels, I'll see that pad four right here is active. So I'm active now with this velocity. My original pitch is pad four. All right? So I come back to here. I can also select any pad, any bank here, as you can see. I can come to a bank here, select any pad in the bank, and I can make that pad active with 16 levels. So here we'll close this out. And these are hi-hats. The lowest hi-hat here, the loudest one is here. So 16 levels. Now if I want to do something like play the track, and I had my note repeat on, I can use this. hitting pads and they're actually playing I can go from low to high it's a kind of cool way to work it really cool now also what I can do is uh, come to here and I can select other parameters look at this I can do tuning I can do filter I can do layer I can do attack I can do decay probability and I can do ratchet let's go to ratchet Ratchet's kind of cool I come to ratchet here and now And you'll see here on the pads, I'm striking pad number seven and pad number three. Right, so I can play it back now, close this out, put the track back. I'm just moving around hitting certain pads using the ratchet effect. Now also I can come here one more time. Let's look at this again. We can do like tuning. So my tuning will change for the device. So for the actual. So from one to 16. That works for everything actually. So here of course you saw before filter layer attack. It's all there. Let's get out of this now. Close this out. And close this out there. It's good. And leave no repeat behind. I can erase something. I can come in here and say, for example, I want to write something. And so let's say I want to come to here, get my pencil tool right here. I'm in 16th notes, right? So I come to here and I write this in. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wrote something in right there. So now I can play it back. Let's solo it up. Play it back. Let's 
All right, that's cool. Sounds terrible, loud, noisy, but for purposes of this lesson, this is really cool. I come to here. I want to play it back from the top, and I want to erase something. So let's say let's press play from the top. Right, so I want to erase that off of there. So that happens to be pad number eight, right here. So I'll play it from the top. Then once I hit pad number eight, it's erasing it. I'm not touching anymore. I'm not touching that pad anymore now. So now it's still continuing on, and I can come back here again and erase more of it. Hold it down. I'm erasing it. So when he erases on, you can erase part of a track anywhere you want to. I did that to close it out. I can come in here also as well, play it back, start the pad. That's pad number three. I'm gonna erase pad number three. Oh, made a mistake. So I wanna do undo. I'll press Command Z and I'm back in again. That's how we can erase right there in the system.